Assalamu alaikum dear students how are you I hope you all are well at home you know very well that the whole world is locked down for the deadly virus corona that means covid 19 the whole world is passing through a pandemic situation and that's why all the educational institutions are locked down the government has closed down all the academies all the actions that is related with the education and for the betterment the vulnerable ministry of education has closed down the educational institutions so that we can slow down the transmission among the adolescent students but education can never be stopped education can never be locked down and thinking for the betterment of the students the vulnerable ministry of education has directed some ideas some words to provide online classes through the virtual system and as a result i am here you know very well that this is server today i will discuss with a very important topic and this class is for the senior students that means 11 and 12 intermediate level and my topic is modifier modifier you know the name of this word at first we should know where from the word modifier has come modifier has come from the word modify modify is a word and it's a verb it means to change change modify means change something and from this word modify this word modifier modifier is a noun actually at first we should know what's the definition of modifier modifier is a word phrase or close that describes or clarify or explain or limits clarifies limits or delimits another word so modifier is a word or phrase or clause that describe that explain that clarify that limits what delimits the meaning of another words in a sentence and modifier actually modifier works like an adjective modifier is actually adjective or sometimes adverb modifier it works like adjective if i give you an example you will be very clear 
to understand the thing if i write car the word car car that means you know this is one kind of vehicle this car what type of car i don't know a simple car but if i modify this word adding a word before or after this word this very word car such as b m w b m w car now this is very clear what type of car this is very costly car and this b m w this word has worked as an adjective what type of car b m w car or if i write new car that means it's very latest in the market and if i add so this word new this is a modifier and particularly this is a pre modifier modifier is divided into two types pre modifier and post modifier so this is the example of pre modifier and if i modify the word in a large range then new car if i write the word the car and if i add another word the car made in japan who is car the car made in japan that means japanese car this is very durable long lasting and very prestigious prestigious car and this made in japan is also a modifier the word da this is also modifier but this is pre modifier and made in japan this is also a modifier and this is the post modifier so we can say that modifier is divided into two types pre modifier and post modifier pre modi fair number 2 post modifier pre modifier comes before the word and post modifier comes after the word and particularly maximum times this word is a noun or adjective or adverb what it may be verb and this noun is called the head word head word is another thing uh, i will take another class on head word but today you should know what's the modifier pre modifier and post modifier modifier works like an adjective and sometimes like an adverb so let's go in the deeper discussion today uh, i will discuss particularly on the pre modifier because this chapter is a uh, little bit big and that's why uh, it will take a uh, big time that's why i will take two classes on this chapter and today i will discuss only the pre modifier pre modifier so what type of words can be used as pre modifier today i will discuss that things first of all if i say adjective as pre modifier adjective adjective can be used as a pre modifier such as if i write 
mobile this is a very familiar and most wanted most expected thing towards the young learners and mobile what type of mobile if i say a smart mobile if i say new mobile if i say world mobile so an adjective can be used as a pre modifier to modify a noun you should keep in mind that all the pre modifiers comes before the given word such as mobile is the given word mobile what type of mobile a smart mobile android mobile new mobile nokia mobile old mobile etc any type of adjective you can use before a noun to modify the word so adjective can be used as pre modifier number 2 adverb adverb can be used as a pre modifier such as adverb as pre modifier such as the dash rule is very important here rule rule that means the resolutions by which we can solve or we can find out the solution rule if i say what rule the above rule the mentioned above rule above this is an adverb but here we have used this word above to clarify to modify to describe the word rule so what rule the above rule if i write the dash principle was very honest the dash principle who is principle if i say the den principle that means the x principle the let uh, the previous principle so i have modified the word principle by adding an adverb before a noun so this is a pre modifier so adjective can be used as uh, used as pre modifier adverb can be used as pre modifier and moving on the next rule number 3 determiners determiners has a big area to discuss but i will give a surface idea actually at first you should know words the determiners determiners are words that are used before a noun to give a idea how many types how much quantity and make the word definite and indefinite before setting a word particularly before a noun such as if i write man if i write a determiner before this word a man if i write the man if i say men how many men two men if i say men if i write 
many men so these type of words are indicating the amount how many persons a man a single person two men you know two persons many men there are a lot of persons so these are giving an extra meaning an extra emphasis how many men you are very clear after adding this type of word before these words so these are called determiners determiners are not very lot in number it's are a few such as articles articles you can write down it as number 4 numbering is not the necessary thing you should understand what actually i want to tell you articles you know there were only three articles a n d or the this three is actually the determiners and if i say number 5 demonstratives 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 actually demonstrative is a an adjective but its name is originally the demonstration that means to indicate that is a fan this is a man uh, these are the rules such type of word there are uh, only four familiar demonstratives i am giving these and the plural of this these that that is the singular those those is the plural formal of, of that and these is the plural form of this so these four words are called demonstratives such as if i give you an example dash boy is my student dash boy now you will be given the preference you will given the direction such as here you will be given pre-modify the word boy pre-modify the word boy using a demonstrative this is very easy in your class 9 and 10 you have done fill in the gaps blank fill in the blanks but there was no direction use an adjective use an article use a noun but here it's very clear that they are telling you that what type of word you should use and they are telling you you should use a determiner if you know what is determiner this is very clear determiners uh, uh, demonstratives sorry demonstratives determiners also demonstratives demonstratives also determiners but determiners and demonstratives are same thing demonstratives are only four if i add here this boy this this boy is my student so this boy is modified by this word this so this is a pre modifier so this these these that those these four words are called demonstratives and they are used as pre modifier to modify a noun so next demonstratives and possessive possessives actually we should know and we of course know what's the possessive possessive has two types one is the possessive pronoun 
and another is the possessive noun so possessive noun and possessive pronoun both can be used as a premodifier to modify a noun or pronoun such as dash country is very beautiful here you will be given an idea that premodify the word country premodify the noun or premodify the word country using a possessive using a possessive so you know what's the possessive if i say my country but my country the country is not only mine this is our country so if you say our country this is the very correct my is also correct any type of possessive you can use here my country their country our country his country her country rohim's country korim's country all types of possessives you can use here but you should keep in mind which possessive you should use if there is an indication before in the before lines or the after lines you will get the idea about you or your or my or i this type of word will be given and you will get the idea so you will choose uh, my or our their or her it will be very clear then so possessive can be used as premodifier next quantifiers you know what's the quantifiers quantifiers are the words that indicates the amount that indicates the amount such as i have dash friends i have dash friends how many friends do you have i don't know if i make the ideas how many friends if i make the idea how many friends very clear by adding a quantifier i have many friends few friends two friends this type of word that indicates the amount of a noun so quantifiers can be used as premodifier to modify a noun so we are very clear what type of words can be used as premodifier and if i say cardinal numbers cardinal numbers cardinal numbers can be used as premodifier uh, you know number is divided into three types cardinal number ordinal number and multiplicative number cardinal number indicates the counting form 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 to etc 200000 million billion so that is the cardinal number if i say dash day i went to canada dash day i went to canada now if i say who is day but when did you go to canada if you say on day in any day i went to canada so this type of word is called cardinal number so cardinal number is also used as a pre modifier 
and ordinal number ordinal numbers actually you should know where is the ordinal number ordinal number indicates the position the level such as the honorable president of our country is the main is the supreme person of this country and the next is the prime minister he is second in the position so if you want to indicate the position such as if i give an example it will be more clear rohim is dash sorry rohim is the dash boy in the class rohim is the dash boy what's the position of rohim Rohim is the first boy. Rohim's roll number is one. This indicating, this is indicating the position. He is the first boy. He is the second boy. He is the third boy. He is the fourth boy. He is the fifth boy. Such as these are also used as pre modifier to modify a noun such as boy here boy. If I write. first boy second boy third boy so cardinal numbers ordinal numbers can be used as pre modifier and there are some general ordinals general ordinals general ordinals are next other the other another further this type of words are called general ordinals i will sasas i will meet you dash monday i'll meet you dash monday who is monday there are many monday in a week at least four mondays and there are many mondays in a year but if you want to clarify if you want to make it clear who is monday if i write next monday that means the coming monday so this word next is used here to modify the word monday to make it more clear and it has clarified the meaning so general ordinals are also used as pre modifier and then the ws determiners uh, we know what's the ws actually we know that there are 18 types of adjectives 18 types the general students know uh, uh, adjectives are only divided into four types adjective of quality quantity adjective of number pronominal adjective but these adjectives are also divided in many types and total adjectives are divided into 18 types and these all 18 types can be used as pre modifier so ws words ws determiners such as w is these words are called ws because these words are started with w and s such as whose what 
which such as there are another more words if i give an example dash class r u in dash class r u in if i ask a question to a student what's your name what class are you in what color do you like then we use what class so the word what here is used to clarify the word class what class so ws words ws determiners are also used as pre modifier and then dear learners i think the class you are enjoying and this is very interesting because this chapter is very easy to understand a student as a student of intermediate level you have the full consent of adjectives before in your previous classes from 6 7 8 9 10 you have read all these chapters but this is the extra discussion and that's why it's very very simple very easy very lucid to acquire it seems new but it's old it has come in the new packet and that's why it seems difficult but actually this is very easy to understand if you are connected with our classes you will be able to understand this chapter very easily and then intensifier 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 also used as pre modifier but we should know what's the intensifier intensifier you know the name the patient has been referred to icu now the economic minister the education minister is in the icu his condition is very bad but what's the meaning of icu i that means intensive unit care intensive care of intensive unit of care so intensive that means it indicates the extra emphasis such as teacher is a dash good student tushar is a dash good student tushar is a good student he has many fame and name he is the first one in the class but if i want to intensify the level of his goodness good there are many good you know there are three forms of adjectives good better best bad worst worst so if you want to give the extra emphasis on any adjective or any adverb intensifiers are used only before the adjective to give the extra emphasis on the mentioned adjective such as here good good is an adjective if you want to give extra emphasis what type of good very good what type of good quite good absolutely good completely good this extremely good this type of words very quite extremely absolutely this and there are uh, etc this type of words are used as intensifier to intensify the mentioned adjective 
or adverb to give the extra emphasis to give the clear ideas and then the another rule that can be used as premodifier present participle you know this name present participle actually we should know the formation and the uses of these terms this is very easy to listen and you seem it's very lucid and simple but there is a contradiction between present participle and gerund so you should know the clear ideas you should know about the position about the uses of present participle actually present participle what's the present participle sleep fly run i have written here three words sleep is the base form of a verb fly is the base form of a verb run is the base form of a verb if i yet ing ing sleeping flying running sleeping this is the phase this is the appearance of a present participle and also a gerund but you should keep in mind very clearly that which word is formed with ing and ex like an adjective the word which is formed with ing such as sleeping if this sleeping works like an adjective then it is called present participle but if this word sleeping works like a noun that will be gerund so sometimes we make ambiguous action sleeping if i add a noun here sleeping dog what type of dog sleeping dog a sleeping dog never bites a man because he is sleeping a sleeping man never can see anything so a sleeping dog cannot bite so what type of dog sleeping dog what type of if i write a very interesting example because uh, you are very adult uh, such as maximum time you see this scenario in any drama or any movies such as flying kiss flying kiss what type of word fly flies flying kiss what type of you should not offer such like of kiss because it may fall on anyone say so it's a crime is a virtual crime so we shouldn't follow uh, this type of exercise but in the grammar to make you more clear i have given this type of example so see, present participle can be used as premodifier then another most important actually participles are three types present participle past participle and perfect participle but present participle and past participles are used as premodifier perfect participle is another thing 
that indicates the nominative absolute so now i'll give you the example of past participle you know a verb has three form present form past form and the past participle form if i write write wrote and written write is the base form or present form wrote is the second form that means past form written is the past participle form if i write my dash exam will be held one monday here my dash exam who is exam if i write my written exam so the word here written is a past participle and here it has modified the word exam what type of exam written exam mcq exam preliminary exam so here written is a past participle form and has modified another noun exam so absolutely it's a modifier and it is called the past participles dear students now i'll give another uh, some examples actually this chapter uh, contains very very rules and it's very interesting i actually don't want to uh, stop the class here i have only two or three rules uh, if you stay connected uh, with your passions uh, only two minutes uh, i will take and stay connected mm, oh, and then noun noun can also clarify another noun such as i bought a dash pot i bought a dash pot what kind of pot if i add here a noun tea pot i saw a dash match football match cricket match so a noun also can be used as a pre modifier a noun also can modify another noun and then the another example noun adjective noun adjectives actually what's the noun adjectives noun adjectives is also like this but here you will get two nouns and a single adjective such as i bought a dash teapot here i have given you a gap i have bought a dash teapot t noun pot noun if i add here an adjective a small teapot so this is also a modifier this is called noun adjective as pre modifier so dear learners uh, i think all of you have enjoyed these classes this is very interesting learning and i hope you will be connected with our every upload and you will share to your friend circle uh, with your online friends to spread our classes because this is the virtual world uh, you are not confined in the single school college or universities so you if you share the classes towards another friends a friend of another school another college another university they will also enjoy the class and they will also take the interest of the education so um, i would like to give you a request i would like to give you a suggestion uh, if you have any question if you are not clear at any point 
you can inform me in the commentary box i will reply you the what type of word you should use and where is the ambiguous position i will reply so keep stay at home and stay safe thank you everyone allah bless